uh, I want to show the uh, a common area for the camshaft position sensor. There's two bolts you got to remove to take this cover off right here. Take that one off. Take that one off. Those are two 10 millimeters. And uh, this right here, right here where that connector is, right there. I'm staring right at the connector. That is the camshaft position sensor. And the camshaft position sensor is mainly used for uh, fuel injection. It uh, sends the signal to the uh, computer in order to uh, time the engine correctly. Usually the crankshaft position sensor is used. Crankshaft position sensor is used mostly for the uh, spark, but the camshaft position sensor is mostly used for the fuel injection. And uh, also, it tells you if your timing belt is slipped or your timing chain has slipped. If it's not synchronized and it's sending the wrong signals to the computer, it, it'll give you a code for where it's not synchronized. And uh, that'll set a code which, in general, most of the time tells you you have some type of problem with your timing. Um, basically, what you can do with this camshaft position sensor if your car is running and I, if I was to pull off this connector while the car was running it would continue to run but once I go to restart the car it probably won't restart now if you're driving your car and most of the time if you lose your crankshaft position sensor signal for whatever reason whether it starts not working or your wires get cut or whatever have you then your car sometimes will die. Um, in some instances, it will also continue to run and will not uh, restart also, as in the cases with the camshaft position sensor. So this, when you're looking for a camshaft position sensor, you wanna look somewhere around the head. Some of them have two camshaft position sensors. This is the, the front of the engine here, and that's the location for the camshaft position sensor in this case. So, it's, you would have to move this out of the way in order to get to it. That's where it is, right there. Shouldn't be too hard, it should be only like a 10 millimeter bolt. Actually, yeah, you can see it right there. It's just a 10 millimeter bolt. Take the connector off, take off that 10 meter, 10 millimeter bolt, wedge it out. If you can't get it out with your hands, then go ahead and just uh, Try to wiggle out with a screwdriver or something like that and uh, lube it before you put it back and replace it with a good o-ring. I intend to do this for most of the sensors and I'm going to try to do it for as many cars as I can to identify where people need to replace their part. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.